Why is the world in a shape it in? So, it's a very dangerous territory. If God is all perfect and all loving, why would God create famine? So I don't, I don't think they realize that they now have several weeks. War. Diseases. All manner of natural disasters. And deep personal di disappointment. But none would have expected to encounter more conflict. When I was about 10, I had so many questions I wanted to ask God. And I still do today. But my question has evolved. Then my question were why my mother had left me. Why people don't love me. Why I am born this way. What I have done wrong to deserve all this from people. But now my questions are almost universal. The same question everybody asks. Why there is evil and suffering? Which clings to his bloody ah. father. Why would loving God allow evil and suffering? Why innocent children suffer? <laughs> from horrible diseases and natural disasters. <laughs> Why do we live in a world so full of hatred? This uh, uh, through very dangerous territories and are exhausted. The reason of asking these questions, like many people, is usually about God accusing the Creator. God, hello and welcome. Winter has come and so my motivational video to inspire and to motivate you to believe in your power that can change your life for the better. Sigmund Freud. But the answer to all this question lies in the deeper mystery of the universe and the highest meaning of life. What I mean is that God does not show his goodness by creating only positive experiences in our life. Look at your loved one. Do you give them everything that they ask? Experience or science for that fact demonstrated that a thing cannot exist without its opposite except in the world of the absolute and the world of absolute it is why god exists in the always and is from where we too have come and will return in the absolute there is no experience only knowing in that world there is only energy so in the world of absolute you know yourself to be goodness and mercy, to be compassion and understanding, to be peace and joy, to be forgiveness and tolerance, to be strength and courage, to be a helper in time of need, a comforter in time of sorrow, to be a healer in time of injury, a teacher in time of confusion. You are the deepest wisdom and the highest truth. You are the greatest peace and the grandest love. You are these things and in a moment of your life, you have known yourself as this thing. Choose now to know yourself as this thing and always be. Then the question. The world it is the way it is because it could not be any other way. As long as we understand the world only through the physical form. Earthquake and hurricanes, flood and tornado, and an event that we all call natural disasters are but the movement of the element from one opposite to another, positive and negative. And the whole birth death cycle is part of that movement. These are the pattern of life and everything in the physical world is subject to them because life itself is a pattern. It's a wave, a vibration at the very heart of all that is. Illness and disease are opposite of health and wellness and are manifest in our reality at our command. 
We cannot be ill without at some level causing ourselves to be. And we cannot be well again in a moment by simply deciding to be. Deep personal disappointment are response which are chosen and worldwide calamity are the result of worldwide consciousness. We question the event in our life saying that God or the universe or the creator has chosen this event for us. That is God's will and desire. This should happen in our life. Yet God does not wish this thing into being. God merely observes us doing so. Do you know what is the law of attraction? Keep that notion in mind. We will come back to it. Back to the point I was making. God indeed does nothing to stop the event in our life. Because if he does so, that will be interfering into our free will. That in turn would deprive us of our power of creation, which is the power of the defining moment when God created us in his image and likeness. Do not condemn all that you would call bad in the world. Rather, ask yourself, what about this event that I have judged bad? And what if there is anything I wish to change? Inquire within rather than without by asking, what aspect? Of my being do I choose to call forth to face this challenging event. For all of the events in our life exist as a reminder of our own creative power. And all these events merely present themselves as an opportunity for us to decide and be who we really are creators. This is true for every soul and so you see there is no victim in the universe, only creators. So how do we create this event in our life? Or what tool do we use to create? So remember the law of attraction. I said, we'll come back to it. It is this law which is beyond all what you create in your life, bad or good. Law of attraction says that anything you dwell on will come to pass, bad or good. I mean, stay tuned. I will have video to explain the law of attraction in a simple, lame term for you to understand. So let's get back to the topic. The master who have walked this planet all knew this, that it is why no matter which master you may name or follow, none imagine themselves to be victimized. Each individual soul is a creator. Though some of us do not remember our origin or our heritage, yet each one of us create the situation and the circumstance for its own highest purpose and its own quickest remembering. Each moment you call now, please don't judge. Don't envy someone's successes. Don't pity your failure. For you not know what is success or failure. Call not a thing a calamity, not happy event, until you witness how it used in the bigger picture. For each circumstance is a gift, and each experience is a hidden treasure. If you find this video useful, please like it. If you have comment agreeing or disagreeing with what has been said here, please want to hear from you. Use the comment box below. Tell us what you think. And above all, please press the subscribe button and the notification button next to it so you won't miss all the great videos that we put out every single week.